and Sassy Dizium Chanel win. Welcome to Vlogtober. I'm here talking to y'all in my natural form, okay? Fun fact. My mom's always calling me Saton because I refuse to go back to church ever since that whole youth group situation happened. Funny enough, I still talk to so many people in my youth group, but I just refuse to go back to church. So, yeah. My mom's always like, Saton. And I'm like, I should pop up to her with these devil ears. See what she says. So, like I said, I really hope you guys are enjoying Vlogtober. I'm genuinely enjoying filming these videos for you guys make sure you are subscribed to this channel a lot of you guys do forget that I do have three channels so if you think that just because you're seeing my face you are subscribed you may not be subscribed also please make sure you are commenting there's too many of you guys that are watching and you're not commenting it would mean a lot to me if you comment something even if it's just a heart or a Haitian flag that would be deeply appreciated also make sure you share my channel we're trying to get to 50k okay like please share 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 for today's video we're gonna be doing another voodoo story time oh my god i forgot the lighting we're not doing this right tale, tale, tale. hey gonna miss you i don't fucked up two seconds i told you guys i'm always forgetting the lighting now that we are now in character let us get into the story time if you guys want to tell your own stories on this channel make sure you contact my business email at haitiangirltries at gmail.com it is right on the screen if you don't want to be on camera with me you can write in your story to crick crack c o z at gmail.com that's k r i k k r a k c o z at gmail.com if you are close to new jersey i will come to you or i'll arrange for you to come to me again if you just want to write into me just send it to the crick crack at c o z at gmail.com now if you guys are seeing my face for the first time hello welcome typically if we do more scary type of videos the lights get dim the music gets a little scarier i mean don't watch this at night even though i'm probably posting this at night but you'll be all right you ain't gonna die now. So we're gonna be talking about the mumbo next door. If you're not aware what a mumbo is, a mumbo is a Haitian voodoo priestess. If you're not aware and you've never been here before, you would not know that I grew up in a Haitian hood, okay? Which, again, if you're not aware, that's not a good combination. Living in the hood is one thing. Living in a hood where people do voodoo is another thing. Living in the hood where people are Haitian and it's the hood? And they do voodoo? Oh my god. Now I know why I have mental illness. Now I know. Because I never, it never occurred to me why literally I have certain traumas. But now looking back, revisiting these stories and telling these stories, les fait sens. So I've told a few stories here on this channel. And of course, over time, I'm going to tell a few more. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to definitely conceal a lot of details and flip some things around. A lot of people that may come across this video definitely would not want certain details out. And of course, for safety concerns, I ain't gonna put certain things out there. Capiche? Capiche. So I lived in what a lot of people would know as Jefferson Park. I already divulged this information millions of times. I do not live there anymore, nor do my parents, thank God. However, living there was a lot, all right? And with living there, there was a lot of experience that I had, that my family had, that my friends had, that will definitely never be forgotten. And one of those experiences will definitely be the mumbo next door. Now the mumbo next door was technically not the mumbo next door, but I'm gonna refer to her as the mumbo next door mainly because she was just the mumbo of the neighborhood. Okay? Now, there was a couple of them. That's why I feel comfortable saying the mumbo next door because no one's gonna figure out exactly who this is. There was a couple of them. Now, the thing is with living in a Haitian neighborhood where everyone does voodoo, everyone does their own shit. There's numerous lugawus, there's numerous mumbos, there's numerous all types of shit. Now, a lot of you guys don't believe in mythical things and, you know, don't think voodoo is real. You guys are probably thinking that I'm crazy, but I'm not. This is a very real thing. And sometimes you could even find a lot of these types of stories in the news that's how real this shit is okay and it's not even just haitians you even find some white people that some way somehow are doing haitian voodoo because they've been initiated by their haitian friends and other haitian relatives that somehow they're you know haitian by whatever association of some way and it's like wait what 
this white person was doing voodoo. It's very much so real, guys, okay? So there was a few of them, but there's this one lady that literally was wreaking havoc in the neighborhood. And for the most part, in this neighborhood, we had a voodoo house. Yes, <laughs> there was a voodoo house. There was a few, but there was one voodoo house in particular where everybody knew you don't go to this voodoo house. Now, when it comes to that, that, that voodoo house, everybody knew you don't walk past that house. If you're going to pass that house, you cross the street and you go the other way. Like, people were terrified of the house, especially us kids, okay? We was like, uh-uh, we're not going past that voodoo house. We not Like, we were scared, okay? Because we we heard so many things about this voodoo house. Like, we was like, oh, no. Like, my parents always just tell me, oh, so I said, so I said, I voodoo. Did you have my guy like I said? So, we, we never passed the voodoo house. But it wasn't until this one day where it was like, nope, we're not passing by this house. And it wasn't only because our parents told us not to pass by this house. It was because there was always strange occurrences near this house. There was, like, always just strange things, like little dolls, like, around the house, like, blood around the house, strange animals around the house, screaming that you could hear about the house, just weird occurrences around the house. And I remember that since I was, like, literally from the age of, like, six up until now that I'm an adult. I will not even park in front of that house if there's no space. I don't, yeah, okay? Like, we, we just knew don't go near that house. So, there was one day, me and my friends was walking. We, we had to be, like, maybe eight or nine. And the thing is, we would never really, at that age, we were not allowed to necessarily be outside um but we would do it anyway when our parents would go out to work and this is what the fuck we get but essentially there was rice on the ground so fun tip right here in brooklyn new jersey miami maryland anywhere that's a heavily haitian populated area and you see rice on the ground do not i repeat do not step on it my chop don't don't because it's a trap. So I didn't know that shit. I was just going to walk through it because I'm like, oh, somebody must have dropped their rice while they was going to the store. My friends was hit. So I'm about to walk and they're like, Ivana, don't. And I'm like, why? They're like, no, 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 that's voodoo shit. That's voodoo shit. Mind you, we were about to walk in front of the house. I didn't peek because like, I was like, I don't know what it was. I think I was just like trying to get to wherever I was trying to go really, really fast. Or like, it was something where like, I was really not paying attention. And it was like, Ivana, don't. And then I looked up and I said, oh, nah, that's the voodoo house. Let's go. So then we crossed the street and then I went home and I told my mom what happened. And she was like, didn't I tell you not to be out at that time? When, when we at work, you're supposed to be out with an adult. Da -da 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 -da. You're not supposed to be out at the park. Whatever. All this bullshit. Because the house was like directly across you from the park. We're not allowed to be at the park. All this bullshit. So I'm like, all right, anyways, yeah. Like, why was there rice on the ground? And why why can't we step on rice? And then, you know, she explained to me, yeah, that's a voodoo thing. You know, if you step on rice, essentially, that's a trap. It could kill you. Basically, like, there's a, a zombie in the rice. It's a whole thing, guys. You probably have to do like a video on like voodoo do curses and things that people set for traps to, to that would be a whole video in itself and i'm probably not gonna ever do it because sometimes i say i'm gonna do something and i don't do it but anyways around that time and that day that our parents told us not to be outside listen it was a beautiful day it was like a petting zoo outside it was like you told us not to go outside on a day where there was like a fucking carnival out there like no like we gonna go outside like what could you talk about bro like no we want to be outside like it's a hot girl summer before hot girl summer even existed okay it's a hot kid summer like we're gonna be outside like i understand but like i don't understand like we're gonna be outside so when my mom tells me why people essentially put the rice on the ground to trap people and it's a curse and it could kill you my thought is why would someone put a trap like that out there when they know there's gonna be a bunch of kids outside like it's essentially a carnival out there it's like petting zoos and, and carnivals and ice cream truck like i was so perplexed i'm like that doesn't make sense it's a bunch of kids outside and my mom was like you have a point i'm not going in i don't know hmm. And see, my mom was like the type of person, she just be going off and she be going on and on and on and she don't shut the fuck up. She's like, oh, what? It's a shame on your yeah. you see your pop bump. Oh, you see those people there? Dogs. That's how they are. They're just some horrible people. They don't care about nobody. And then I started thinking, I don't know, that is a little weird, but mind you, I'm a kid. It, it just slipped my mind. I ain't think nothing of it. Y'all, I go downstairs to my best friend's house. Now, my best friend, she lived on the first floor. She lived in one of the first apartments as soon as you walk into the building. I was always there, so I I was always in the sauce i was always in the know so i walk into her house and we just chilling we talking about the carnival and i was like yo my mom told me about the rice and she was like yo my mom told me the same thing too all of a sudden all you hear is glass breaking y'all all you hear is 
and I'm like, is that glass breaking? Now mind y'all, my best friend's dad used to cheat all the time and her mother used to literally break his glass all the time off his car, like bust the windows out his car. I'm like, damn, is your mom back at it again? And she's like, nah, sis, my mom at work. Boy, we go outside, all you see is neighbor Mumbo, okay, Mumbo next door, and you see the mother of a neighborhood child and you see the whole neighborhood around them in the front of the building and they is duking it like see y'all was out here watching wwe and raw i had that outside i, I didn't need to watch that i think it's on day oh man all you see is them fighting like i'm talking about hands ain't no hair pulling ain't no slapping hands and I'm just like, what is going on? Come to find, I guess after we walked around the rice, an innocent child went and walked on that rice and passed the fuck out. Literally cold. Like literally almost died, like almost lost her fucking life. And I was like, wait, I didn't want to think my mom was lying. I'm not saying my mom was lying, but I was like, wait, my mom was dead ass. And my best friend looked at me like, bitch, of course. Like, what are you, you like, yes, this is some real shit. Like they're talking about, yo, when I'm telling you, like the whole neighborhood was about to pounce on this mumbo. The bubble is getting beat duff. But, uh, like, literally beat, like, I'm just sitting there, like, I'm more concerned about the kid. The kid was in the hospital, hospital for, like, a week. And I'm just, like, bro, like, I had to go get the TT from my mother. Because, like, I was just hearing it vaguely. Because my Creole wasn't that good as a kid. I was, like, what? Like, I was a kid. So, I'm, like, yo, like, she didn't have what? You know, the mumbo had to get her retaliation, though. But, apparently, from what I understand, the mumbo did that to her kid. Because that, she had beef with the lady. So, she intentionally set that trap for that child. But my logic is what would happen if I stepped in it if my best friend stepped in it if any of the other girls We would step in it because that doesn't even make any sense because I'm like wait You don't know who's gonna step in that so I mean I don't want to say it's a miracle because that's fucked up That's still a child but I'm like it's a miracle that you got who you were looking for but that's fucked up You literally just maimed another person's child because you had a personal vendetta with their fucking parent Like are you fucking kidding me? Thankfully you got your ass beat But then it just became a constant tit for tat like that mumbo was causing fucking problems when I'm telling you, it was like a year or two of constant fighting, 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 fighting with these two ladies. Like, it was insane. But it was literally WWE in 3D. <laughs> like, it was wild. Okay, and when I'm telling you why I'm talking about like people breaking property, people breaking into people's houses, people breaking people's doors, people smashing people's faces in. Again, people attacking people's children, people sending other people's children to attack other people's children. It was really, really bad. So I'm just telling y'all right now, if you have a mumbo or an ogre in your neighborhood or anything of the sort, make sure that you steer clear away from them. You don't go near their houses. You don't say or be rude to them in any of way because they 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 can make your life a living hell for absolutely no reason just because they don't like you or they don't like something your parent did or whatever the case may be and trust me i've seen way worse than that this is just one story that i kind of had to chop up not to reveal certain details okay this is just a very cautionary tale of if you see something on the floor do not step on it no matter how useless it may look like there are times where sometimes it will look like flower sometimes it will look like plants sometimes like it could look like anything anything that looks strange on the floor do not i repeat do not step on it with that being said make sure you guys like share subscribe do all that and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye